The homily given by Metropolitan Archbishop of Castries, Rev. Robert Rivas, targeted directly the issues at hand facing the church following the passing of its chief shepherd. Rev. Rivas started his message by first recognizing the contribution made by Bishop Darius during his 14 years of service. He reminded the congregation that within his years of service, he was confronted with many challenges, which included the church recovering after two hurricanes and ill health. Early in his episcopate, he faced the terror of Hurricane Ivan. The traumatic effects did not deter him from forging a road of recovery for the church in Grenada. While scars are still evident in the Grenadian landscape, this magnificently restored cathedral stands as a symbol of his faith and pastoral initiative in helping and inspiring the church to rise out of devastation to new hope. Reverend Rivas said in light of the passing of the Catholic bishop, the church must now reflect on the way forward without fear. The church in Grenada must now let go of its fears and anxieties and take Sheila Caldera's advice and get on with life while clearing obstacles along the way. The church in Grenada cannot remain looking into the tomb. For where it is looking is where it will be. He also addressed the appointment of a new bishop as a renewal for the diocese. The death of one bishop prepares the way for the coming of a new bishop. And fre a fresh time of hope for a local church. I suppose there's going to be a lot of speculation. And there will be a lot of nuncios around. And a lot of people with the information but you know what? This is not that kind of time. This is a kind, the, the kind of time that requires wisdom. At around 12.20, the church bell sounded to signal the procession to the place of committal. Only high-ranking clergy ministers and family members were allowed into the crypt where Bishop Darius's body was laid to rest. This was viewed by the congregation from inside the cathedral. At the crypt, Bishop Darius's body was committed to the tomb next to that of the first bishop of the Diocese of St. George, Justin Field. Also buried there was Father William Maligan, who died in December 2001, and four other priests who served Grenada in the 19th century. Joseph McKee Smith, GBN News.